Hello, thanks for stopping by StampsToDieFor.com. My name is Patsy Wagner and I'm excited to share with you today another technique how-to. Hope you enjoy! Okay, let's get started today with the triple time technique. Um, this is something that's been around for quite a while, but it's always a popular and a favorite of my customers, so I thought I would show this for this week's technique how-to. First, you're going to need um, three pieces of your basic colored cardstock. I'm using Whisper White here. This one is two and three and a quarters. This one's three by four and a quarter. And this one is four by five and a quarter. Now, don't worry about the measurements because you'll be able to go over to my blog at www.stampstodiefer.com and download all of the supplies and the measurements in a tutorial on how to do this. You're going to take your snail, or if you have a dotto or some type of temporary adhesive, but I'm going to take this, and then what I find works really good is to just put it on my clothes to take some of that sticky off, and I'm going to lay this on top of this piece here. I'm going to do the same with this. Now you just need a little bit of it, um, and again, put it on my shirt, get some lint on it so it doesn't stick really good. And we're going to put that on there like that. Now I'm going to take pear pizzazz and on my card sample I use just one of the petite petals um, stamps but for for my sample I decided rather than cleaning up in between I would stamp this image in different flowers and who knows maybe we'll like it better. better. So I stamped that with pear pizzazz now I'm going to stamp the next flower with Island Indigo. And you'll see that there are some voids here, but don't worry about that. It looks bad now, but we're going to be covering that up with our mat, so it really won't matter um, in the end, in the scheme of it all. So now I'm taking um, Elegant Eggplant, and I'm stamping... Um, in between all of these. Sometimes it's hard to gauge exactly where you should stamp and how many flowers you're going to have left over and so that's how it's going to look. Then we're just going to lift up the corners and I twist it but I very carefully make sure that I keep the top the top um, because that's what you know we don't want to rotate them or we're in trouble. So now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put some snail adhesive. Now this time you don't want to rub it on your pants. I'm just going to layer that on this like this and I always turn it over to burnish it. Now burnishing it is what's going to keep your um, card together. And now we're going to put, and you'll see this is why we needed to remember top to top bottom to bottom because we want our flowers to match up. So there we go. And we're going to put this one on its mat. Now the mats are just a quarter of an inch larger than our Whisper White. We're going to just stick that on here like this. You can see how it's starting to line up. And then that's just going to go on our card base. And there you have triple time stamping. And then you can embellish it with a greeting of some sort. Um, and you can decide, do you like all the flowers the same or do you like a little variety in your flower garden? I hope you enjoyed today's technique how-to and don't forget to hop on over to my blog and pick up your free tutorial with all the measurements at www.stampstodiefor.com. Happy stamping!